Welcome, lovely Gemini, to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with Crystal Scrying and continuing on with the Tarot, Oracle, and I have some Halloween uh, symbol cards for you as well. All right, lovely Gemini, let's go ahead and roll and see what Spirit has in store. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please give me clear understanding, clear communication and interpretation skills to bring forth the correct and truthful information that Gemini needs to know for this timeless general reading, please, Spirit. Thank you. Here. Okay, thank you. And who is Gemini? Okay, interesting. Okay, so Gemini, what I'm getting here, uh, it's almost the feeling of feeling left out in the cold. Um, it's like here you are, right here, and there's a masculine and a feminine over here. This could be siblings, it could be parents, but one's a masculine, one's a feminine, not gender specific. They're huddled together, almost kind of like creeped out, a creeped out feeling looking at you. Okay. Now, you're kind of, it's like you have your back turned, but you're turning your head to try to turn towards them to look at them. Um, the expression on your face is really almost like monotone. This could be work acquaintances. Um, you know, it, this could be anybody. Now, when I see two, that's just symbolic for two or more. So this could actually be a large group of people for some of you. This could be people in your community as well. I am seeing a feminine at a distance. There's a feminine watching you, looking at you. And all of a sudden you pick up this baby. Okay, so Gemini, usually when um, a baby is present in the crystals or my visions, a baby is usually symbolic of some kind of project, work idea, something like that. Okay. Something that you would have to nurture to grow as you would a child. Now, for of course, for a few of you, this could be a literal child. Um, some of you, uh, you know, there could be adoption here. There could be um, something like that as well. Uh, some of you may be hearing news of conception or uh, actually of a birth of a child. But I feel like for most of you, this is something pertaining to work or research, going back to school, something like that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Spirit, give me more, please. Uh, would you like me to go to the symbolic? Okay. Yeah. Symbolic cards. Thank you. Please show me. Tell me your both. What does Gemini need to know? Please give me the top two cards. Please tell me when to stop. Top two cards, please. Please tell me when to stop. One more. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Now? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what we have is we do have the tarot. We also have, looks like someone's doing some kind of spell work or something here. Okay. And we have, mm, okay, I see. We have a spirit here, someone dressed up as a ghost. Okay. Give me just a moment. So 
So I feel like Gemini. There's something that some of you have. You have either manifested a person, place, or situation and have went ghost. Or it could be the reverse. Someone has manifested you and went ghost. Or it could be, again, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be, you know, a job. It could be, you know, a job that said they were very interested in you, but you hadn't actually been hired yet. And then um, you're sure you've got the job. And then all of a sudden, then it's like, no, you, you know, you keep trying to call back, check on your application and no one's answering you back. No one has any answers for you. And then you find out that they've hired someone else. Okay. It could be something like that as well. So just take that how it resonates for you. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot spirit, Holy divine, this one. Okay. Thank you. Normally, just so you know, normally um, I don't just pick the deck. And that time I felt like Spirit wanted me to pick that deck. So that's why I went ahead and did that and asked Spirit. Spirit, what would you like to tell Gemini, please, for this general timeless reading? What would you like to tell to Gemini? Thank you. Thank you. More from this deck at this time? No. Thank you. Okay, which one do you want me to do first? This one? This one. This one. Okay, thank you. So what do we have? We have a hanged man. So we're starting off here with the hanged man. And then we have the knight of wands. Okay, so I feel like in this hanged man energy, whatever situation this is, and this could most certainly be pertaining to what I was seeing in the crystals as well, where I was seeing, you know, two people that were kind of huddled together. You were kind of walking away, but you were turning your head to look back to see. Um, so it's kind of like, mm, am I really not going to get this job? Am I really not going to um, be doing this or is there really some kind of confusion in something that I manifested here? But I see where you're going into this hanged man mode if you're not already. And this hanged man, this is like going within and obtaining information, okay? It's almost like a stagnant type energy, but I feel like it's something that either spirit may have allowed a situation to occur in order to bring you into uh, this hanged man mode to rest for a while. Sometimes, um, you know, we cannot be seeing what's coming. Like there's something better that's on the horizon. And sometimes we attempt to put all of our energy into, you know, something that we think we really want in that moment. And it's like then spirit allows something to occur that may make you feel like um, that you, you have to retreat for a while. You have to take a time out, um, something like that. But usually when I get information like this, this is telling me that things are getting ready to get busy. There's something better on the horizon. Something's getting ready to happen that you don't quite see yet. And you're going to need to have rest uh, in order to do that, whatever's coming. But in the meantime, with this hanged man energy, this is acquiring a lot of information um, about where you've been so far and also a time for me you know i'm an intuitive reader so for me it's also a time of uh curiosity right now while you um have time um to do so you know to be curious about you know yourself are there things that you know pertaining to yourself that you want to explore things that you 
because you were so busy before you didn't have time to explore you know just an example but something like that and obtain all the information that you possibly can because while you're resting because what happens is here we have the knight of wands now for me the knight of wands that is going on a huge adventure here okay and it's something that is going to fuel your passions it's something that's going to be this huge desire for you okay so let's go back to what i saw in the crystals i saw it was like people were looking at you oddly okay almost like not knowing what to think so it's almost giving me an idea of like making a decision so let's say if this is a job we'll just use that for an example so let's say um you had put in an application at a certain job and again it's the scenario like i explained okay that may have been a job let's say those two people i saw were parents okay that might be the area of work that the parents may have hoped that you would do okay but then all of a sudden spirit knows spirit sending you something that's more aligned with your passions more aligned with your purpose okay but you don't see it yet the parents don't see it okay all you know is you almost feel sick at your stomach because this job didn't work out. Parents are expecting you to, to have a job like that. You know, something like that is what I'm getting. But then all of a sudden you have this opportunity after you've gained information here with this hanged man, after you've had time to take a break, to get some rest. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. The universe is sending me this big adventure, some kind of opportunity, okay? Now, going back to the parents, okay? So this opportunity, again, is something aligned with your purpose, something aligned with your passions, okay? So something you're going to be driven to do. You're going to feel fired, you know, lots of, lots of um, awesome energy when you actually put action towards this knight of wands energy however other people may not understand your actual passion so in a situation like this that i'm using for an example the parents may not see let's say your passion is uh to be a cat groomer okay <laughs> so you want to you want to take care of cats for a living okay and that's what you have a passion for and your family wanted you to be a doctor okay but you're like no i this is what i want to do this is my passion this is my dream and this is going to be such a huge adventure for me so you go ahead and you step out on that however at that time that's going to um it may be hard for the parents in this situation to grasp the concept okay all right spirit give me more please what else for to, okay here thank you spirit wants me to continue with the same deck thank you okay what do we have all right these came out together which one first okay here thank you okay we have the ace of wands See, there you go. You go from the Knight of Wands to the Ace of Wands. You have a brand new beginning, and it's something passionate, something absolutely amazing for you, Gemini. Okay? May not be for the rest of the world, but it is for you. And that brings you into the temperance energy. Okay? So it's kind of like what I'm getting here is it's like, you know, with temperance, it's it's all about perspective. You know, what is most important to you? Um, is it more important that you go on this brand new adventure that's exciting for you or make the parents happy? You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm, that's what I'm really getting here. It's almost like um, spirit is wanting you, spirit's bringing something amazing, some kind of amazing opportunity that's going to be opened up for you. 
but it's going to be up to you to take action towards that. And however you take action towards that, which again will be all about your perspective. Okay, Spirit, where would you like for me to go? Which deck? Here. Thank you. Oh, and Gemini, please know I have um, already received my second camera. Uh, however, the devices that I have could not did not have enough power to push that camera enough, so it was glitchy to have the split screen. So I do have uh, another PC on the way that should be able to push enough power so that there's no glitches. All right, so. This deck I only read in the upright. So we have let go. Let go of negative people and toxic beliefs. Yeah, see, that's the one with this temperance card. Um, your time on earth is precious. Invest it wisely and be mindful of who you spend time with. Love that. Yeah, so that's exactly what Spirit was saying. And, I, and I'm not saying, because that was just an example, you know, about the parents. I'm definitely not saying parents are toxic. No, it's just an example I was using. But what I'm saying here is that, yes, um, you know, it's like Spirit's saying it's your time, Gemini, to do what you want to do with your life, not live your life for the rest of the world anymore. Okay. Um, now let's see, what does this say? Heart path. It's not worth pursuing a path without passion. See, there you go. There's your passion, your knight of wands and your ace of wands. This road will only lead you to uncertainty and frustration. Follow your heart and you can't go wrong. Love that. Love, love, love it. Okay. So I think I'm going to put both of those over here. All right, Spirit, where would you like for me to go, please, for Gemini? Oh, same deck. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All of these? Yes. Okay. All right. So those came out together. We'll go with this one first. Whatever you wish. Wow, Gemini. When you lessen the importance of problems and suffering, life will swing back into balance. Stop the struggle and feel peace. There's your hangman. The world responds to you. And it's also the temperance. Again, it's all about your perspective, okay? Do you let it, you know, really get to you that someone doesn't like what your passion and goals are? Or are you just like, you know what? I love you, but this is this is my passion, and this is what this is my life, and this is what I want to do. Believe me, Jim and I, I've been there all my life, okay? And I have just gotten to the point this last year to where um, I am doing what makes me happy, not the rest of the world ever again, okay? Um, it's not worth it. Okay, receiving it all. You deserve to receive abundance at full capacity. Believe in your worth and trust that the universe is ready to deliver all that you desire. Open up. Love that. Absolutely love that for you. Okay. Then we have, you decide. When you give of yourself freely, you expand your energy. If you only give to get, it will feel like a burden or drain. Be genuine. Give from your heart. So you have two cards about doing what your heart feels, okay? So that may be of significant importance. Shine bright. It's never a mistake to give of yourself. Some will take it for granted. Others may take advantage of it. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. Okay. Without agenda. Pure love and everything you have dreamed will happen when you are ready to give love without expecting anything in return. True givers receive. Wow. Okay, so there have been several cards here about giving without expectation. So we want to keep that in mind as well. And then we have don't hide. Dare to dream big. Remind yourself that everything is possible. 
Don't hide your talents and abilities, but use them to build your world. Oh, I love this, Gemini. Yes, do not hide yourself. Love this. Okay, Spirit, what, Tarot now? Oh, Spirit is pulling me. Which one? This one or this one? This one? Okay, thank you. Okay, what would you like to tell Gemini, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, this could be about, do we have more? No, just that one. Okay, more from this deck at this time. No, thank you. Okay, so we do have the Eight of Wands here. Um, that is communication. Uh, so that could, what, come on, that could mean, well, focus. It could mean uh, fast communication or something happening quickly. Um, again, that's what I was saying about this hangman energy. Um, needing to rest up, and you see it's below the hangman. So needing to make sure that you are rested and rejuvenated because there's something that's going to fuel your fire. That spirit and the divine, the universe, is getting ready to present itself to you. And when this happens, you're going to want to be rested, rejuvenated, and ready to go because it, this may be some very fast moving energy here. And I'm also feeling, you know, for a few of you, this isn't going to be for everyone. There could be some kind of air travel involved. Um, but I feel like for most of you, it's more on the side of communication and things taking off quickly. Now, sometimes with the Eight of Wands, what I have also found is, um, you know, it's kind of like a situation. If you imagine um, someone who is shooting arrows in the air, okay, one after the other simultaneously very quickly right at some point if they go up high enough they're all in the air at the same time however they're not going to land at the same moment but they're going to be pretty quick um the, the landing is going to be pretty quick between each one though right so it's kind of like um there could be multiple things that begin opening up for you and it may seem like you know like Oh my gosh, it's hard to keep up. This is opening over here. And now this one's opening and this is opening. And it doesn't mean it has to be all the same thing. You know, it could be all jobs, but it doesn't mean it has to be one over here that lands could be, okay, I'm starting a new relationship. And then you have a new job opportunity. And, and then, you know, you, you find out some good news over here and just all these things that are going to require you to have that rest and relaxation we had here in the beginning. OK, so just be prepared for that. All right, spirit, where would you like? To, ooh, was it this one? This one. OK, I'm going to return back to this deck. Spirit, what are you wanting to tell Gemini, please? What does Gemini need to know? I just saw 2121 on the clock. Please look that up. There is a message in that for you as well. You can always look up angel numbers, spiritual meaning. Um, Numerology, meaning, however you want to see that. Thank you. Okay, and what do we have? Oh, we have two. Okay, they came out together. So which one do you want me to start with? This one? Okay, thank you. And we have, okay, I love this. You have the full card, okay? You're taking a leap of faith or spirit saying you need to take a leap of faith towards whatever this Knight of Wands is, this passionate new beginning is, okay? Or at least towards your passion, your dreams, your goals, your desires here. And the card it came out with is the moon. Yeah, okay, so I feel like uh, illusions are being lifted now. If you take action towards your passions, your heart's desires, dreams, goals, all of that, okay, I feel like what's happening here, Spirit's saying, okay, now that you're deciding to actually take action towards those things, that now these illusions are going to be removed. And for me, anytime I see a rabbit, that's a very lucky symbol. But also, uh, a rabbit is about abundance, okay? And a quick manifestation. Again, you have the eight of wands here. Same thing, 
Okay, so I definitely see that there there are many things. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Um, it could be. Mm, could be a situation like this too. This may not be for everyone, but just bear with me, okay? I am feeling this for at least one person who watches this. Okay, it could be a situation. Let's see, how can I explain this spirit? Okay, I'm going to use, uh, the only way I know how to explain this, I'm going to use this as like a relationship, a love relationship, okay? So let's say that two people meet they come together and they start dating. Okay. This is something that um, both of you are interested in, right? It's your passions, your dreams, your desires, right? So each of you do something that the other is very interested in. Now, something happens when the two of you come together. And it's like the two of you put your heads together and something, it's like the both of you together create something that the world has never seen before. Something absolutely incredible, amazing, right? But it doesn't stop there. It's like there's that and then here's this and here's that and all these things the two of you begin creating together, okay? Because you were going after your desires of your heart. Okay, that's the kind of thing I'm getting here. It's like boom, 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 boom. Things you could have created and the other person could have created on their own. However, the universe is constructing something here in this example, constructing something here to where uh two matching energies come together and create it even more quickly okay if that makes sense the best way i can describe it okay spirit where would you like for me to go back to the same deck okay thank you but you have to remember gemini it is your choice it is your free will okay all three of these all of these yes okay where do you want me to start here okay so we're going to go backwards and yes okay so we're going to just flip them over so we have what is this okay we have the four pinnacles uh give me just a moment i'm going to see what the rest of these are before i say then we have the six of wands yeah some kind of victory so this four of pinnacles yeah that's definitely telling me with the three of pinnacles okay yeah this is definitely telling me there is there is a solid sturdy foundation whatever this is that this opportunity that's getting ready to open up for you that's going to kind of like usher in many other opportunities it's like it's going to either for some of you it's going to help you begin building a very strong sturdy foundation others of you you may already have that sturdy strong foundation built but you're going to be building more and more and more on top of it okay so take that how it resonates in your life but with the six of wands now six of wands you know that is the victory card however you've got to be careful here because um, in this situation, you know, um, with the Rider Waite deck, there is a person in the background that is very jealous, okay? So you need to be prepared. There will be, you know, jealous energies around you uh, if you choose to move forward towards your dreams and goals. Uh, this, this is something that's going to happen, okay? Um, but with this three of pentacles the three of pentacles um this is a very good card in many different situations so for one um this is telling me that you will have acknowledgement for like uh for your work okay so it's kind of like the six of wands and it's interesting to me that this came out with the six of wands um in line with it so you have two cards together that there is like acknowledgement recognition for your work okay now this is this is amazing and not only that 
it's, you know, the, the Three of Pentacles, this is a card of working together. So again, I definitely feel like it's confirmation. Spirit saying it's something like the, uh, the example that I gave you earlier about, you know, two people coming together and creating something and all this stuff manifesting. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Okay, here. Okay, thank you. Back to this deck. What else? What else? Okay. Do we have just one? Yeah. The pause is the shift. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Think of the hangman. There we go. I can't believe this. Well, I can, but. Okay, your past is now behind you. All your, wait a minute, all your desire is right in front of you. Pause to reconnect with your power and follow the pull of your destiny. I cannot make this up, Gemini. <laughs> this is really awesome. All right, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, Spirit, can we please have at least one card from this deck? This is a new deck, so I really like this deck. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Ooh, Spirit's giving you several. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All of these? Yes? Okay. All right. So this one says, the carver's unique touch. And it says, the Intricate or intricate, however you want to pronounce it, designs carved into a pumpkin reflect your distinctive creativity and self-expression. So again, this is going to be about your hearts, dreams, goals, desires, okay? Expressing yourself. And then the next one we have is, this is the, the hollowed heart. Carving out the inside of a pumpkin signifies letting go of fears and insecurities to make room for growth. Love it. Okay, the next one. We have the spirit's embrace. The eerie light within a pumpkin lantern symbolizes the presence of unseen spirits and energies. And here you go again. There's something about the spirit. There's something about this manifestation. And again, I feel like there is some kind of divine, spiritual something going on here. Okay. As far as whatever this is coming in for you. And you're definitely getting help from ancestors or, as I said, you know, God, the Holy Divine, your angels, your spirit team, the universe. There's definitely people or energies that are working with you, manifesting, helping you manifest this into your life. The pumpkin's metamorphosis. The transformation of a pumpkin from a simple gourd to a glowing path lantern represents the power of transformation and renewal. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to leave this here at Lovely Gemini. May you have an extremely blessed and lovely week, my friends. Bye-bye.